which is revaluation of assets and reassessment of liabilities. This is answer of the eight journal entries with proper format. First part: machinery to be depreciated by sixteen thousand and building to be appreciated by forty thousand. This is first part. First A: revaluation account debited to machinery account sixteen thousand each. Building decrease in the value of machinery transport to revaluation account. Decrease is a loss or expenditure to the firm; hence, it is debited to revaluation account. Building increased by forty thousand. One B, building account debited rupees forty thousand to revaluation account forty thousand. Being increase in the value of building credited to revaluation account because increase in building is a profit for the firm. Second part. A provision to be created for doubtful debt at the rate of five percent of debtors amounting to eighty thousand. That is eighty thousand multiplied by five percent is equal to four thousand. That is second part. Revaluation account debited rupees four thousand to provision for doubtful debts account rupees four thousand. Being increase in the amount of a provision transport to revaluation account debtor is rupees eighty thousand. Five percent is four thousand. This is debited to revaluation account because it is an expenditure for the firm. Hence, all expenses are debited to the nominal account or profit or loss adjustment account or say revaluation account. Third one is provision for warranty claims be increased by twelve thousand increase in liability. Provision for increase in Warranty claims increase in liability. It is an expenditure and debited to revaluation account. This is revaluation account debited to provision for warranty claims account. That is twelve thousand in the debit and twelve thousand in the credit. Being increase in the amount of a provision transport to revaluation account. And the debit credit columns are to be totaled here. Increase in liability. Is an expenditure hence debited to the nominal account or revaluation account, and journal when totaled both debit and credit column is rupees seventy two thousand.